Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sosetta. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke in the forecast. Hi, Kristen. A good afternoon. Cold fronts bringing in cooler air across the northeast, east central plains today, and even a little bit of a cool off in the southeast. It'll also provide a focal point for a few thunderstorms down in the southeast this afternoon. The central high terrain, then also out over the heel. A slight chance we may get a stray shower or thunderstorm in the metro this evening, but rain chances for us pretty slim, mainly in the higher terrains of the northern mountains and the central mountain chain. Now, overnight tonight, low will enhance some shower and thunderstorm activity down in the southeast and also over in the Gila area. So, Thursday morning, tomorrow morning, we could be looking at a few showers and storms across the eastern half of the state with a better chance for showers and storms down toward Roswell tomorrow afternoon and also some of that cooler air working its way there. Where highs today will be in the 80s for Roswell, will be in the 70s tomorrow afternoon and for the metro cooling down a little bit as well. Today 81, again slim chance for a straight thunderstorm this evening, tomorrow upper 70s. After tomorrow, rain chances move out, temperatures go up this weekend looking really nice, highs in the low to mid 80s. Thank you, Kristen. A toxicology report has been released in the death of a 17-month-old Española baby. The report shows Biandra Peña had marijuana in her bloodstream, and it most likely was not from secondhand smoke. The report also concludes that the manner of the child's death was a homicide. 24-year-old Nathan Montoya was arrested in March and charged with child abuse resulting in Peña's death at his girlfriend's home outside of Española. Montoya had been convicted of molesting a teenager in the past. Holloman Air Force Base confirms today that the F-22 Raptors are flying again. Fighter jets have been on stand down since May due to concerns about their life support systems. Spokesperson says the jets have been tested and cleared to fly. Ten training flights are set for today. There are approximately 20 F-22s in the 49th Wing 7th Fighter Squadron at Holloman. In July, the U.S. Senate voted to stop production of those F-22s. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day, everybody.